Hello, welcome to the course about GIS for uh, municipal management. This is the third module, but this is uh, the first one about the, uh, the practical part. So we are going to use GBSIG in this, in this course. This is a f an open source application. It's free of, char of charge. You can download it uh, without problem from the GBSIG uh, project website. So first, we are going to see how to download the application. You have to access to www.gbc.com uh, and then in products, you can see the different, the different products that are available. You have the GBC mobile application too for data gather gathering and a GBC desktop. Here, uh, you have the downloads uh, section where you will find the uh, last version of GBC. At this moment is the, the uh, 2.3.1 but in in December of uh, 2017 you will find the uh, next one, the 2.4 uh, version. There are two distributions. Uh, the first one is uh, the version that you ha that you have to install in your computer uh, you have to download this uh, the, the binary uh, corresponding to your uh, operate operative system operating system and then you have to install gbc in your computer and there are a portable version that is a zip file that you have to unzip in a path without spaces or uh, accent uh, with accents no spaces no accents uh, and after the uh, unzipping the zip file you have to press the, uh, uh, you have to run gbc directly in windows uh, you have to run gbc with this file and then after installing gbc we are going to run the application. I'm going to run it from the console, but you have you will have the in the installable version you will have the uh, the access uh, from the desktop. And when we load, I'm going to to use the last uh, version that is the two dot four, but it's in development. This it's still in development, but uh, I'm going to use this one. It's uh, the same than 2.3.1. And after uh, accessing to the application, in the 2.3.1, uh, you will see the project manager. In the next, in this version, you will find a view uh, that is opened uh, directly. So. Uh, from the show and project manager we have the project manager where we have where we can uh, manage our documents we have uh, the views the, the we have different type of documents we have views where we are going to add the the cartography we also have tables that are the attribute tables associated to the vector layers of our views or the tables that we can load independently for example we have if we have a, a table with the population of different municipalities we can load this table uh, from here and we can uh, we can use this table uh, in gbc then we have the maps that are the graphical output of our views if we have a view with the cartography we can create a map with the legend, the north, scale, images, etc. with the logo uh, of the company or of our organization, etc. And we also have charts that are the uh, charts that we can create, the graphics that we can create from the numerical data of our tables. For example, the we have a a cart uh, layer with the municipalities and the population the population we can 
create a graph, a bar, bar pi, a pi or, or bar uh, charts, with the different population of the different uh, municipalities. So uh, the first step is to create a view that uh, is created from uh, GPC 2.4 is created automatically. So well, uh, if we don't have this this view, we have to access to the view and uh, new. So so we have this view. We can change the properties of this view from here or from the view at the view menu and properties where we can change the name of the view for example view 1 and very important we have to manage the reference system to select the reference system of the view at this view we have this reference system because it's indicated in the preferences of the application we are going to see now where we can manage the preferences so if we have if we want to change this uh, reference system we have to access only for this view we have to access to this section here we have the recent ones you will have probably only only one only this one as we uh, spoke in the second module about uh, reference systems uh, you can you have to use the codes for the different uh, reference systems so if we don't have uh, the reference system that we that we need here we have to access to epsg or the another the other uh, option but we usually use the epsg uh, codes for example, in our case, we are going to uh, load uh, several layers of uh, San Francisco. And the reference system that we are going to use uh, for these layers, be, be for these layers, because they are in, the, in that reference system, is 26910. Then we press Enter. And here we have the only reference system with this uh, code we are going to accept and we apply and here we have our first view in this reference system because our layers the layers of uh, san francisco that we are going to use are in this reference system if we load another layer that is that is in a different reference system it will be reprojected if it's a vector layer it will be reprojected to the reference system of this of the view first uh, firstly i want to show you from the show preferences we are going to see the main prefer preferences of the uh, app of the application in general you have <coughs> the folders option where where you can select the folder when, where you have the projects or the data the layers etc you also can change the language for example in english after uh, changing from change uh, the la the language from here you have to restart gvc to see the application completely in your language there are more than 25 languages available then another another section another important section is the network where we have where we can check if we have internet connection from gbc if we press here we can see that we are we have connection so if we connect to a web map service or web feature service etc if we have an error, we uh, get an error, we can check if the problem is the connection or the problem is uh, the, the URL or the, the server. May maybe the server is uh, 
is down, etc. If we have in our uh, organization, in, in our city council, if we have internet access by proxy, we have to uh, change the properties, the uh, configuration here. We can uh, copy the parameters from the, the browser, from uh, Firefox, Chrome, etc. And we can paste them uh, here. And the other main section <coughs> is the uh, view. Here we have the reference system by default. Uh, when, uh, when we create a new view, it's created in this reference system. In my case, it was the reference system of my first view. And here you can change to the, refer to the reference system that you use uh, that you usually use in uh, your uh, organization. You also can change the the color of the selection where we where you s when you select uh, the the elements, for example, or the zoom factor, etc. So, if you have if you want to change the reference system by default, you can select the from here and you can uh, look for the reference system and then change it. And the other option is the layer order in the table of contents. The table of contents is this part of the view where we have the, dif the different layers uh, and the order is the same than we have in the view. And we have two options the default order where where uh, we when we ha a load a different uh, layers they are uh, in always in the top of the of the list and we also have another option that is raster raster polygon line or point so the raster layers are uh, down then the polygon layers up uh, under the, uh, on the raster layers then the line on the polygons and points on the line and polygons and raster layers after accepting we have the preferences of the application so we have changed the reference system of our view and we are going to load a new layer. We have three parts in the view. We have the table of contents where we uh, where we can see the different layers and the order here is the order in the view. At the view we, ha uh, we will have the cartography, the graphical part, and we also have uh, this small window that is the locator. We will see uh, the locator uh, later. So the first step will be to load a new layer. We have to press here and we have different type of layers. We can load different files from our computer or the computers in our company uh, from the add uh, button. And we can load uh, raster and vector layers. Then we have different web services, web coverage service, web feature service, web map service, etc. Uh, geoda geodatabase, OpenStreetMap, and web maps. We will see them in the next uh, modules of the course. So first we are going to select file and add. You will have the cartography to download for the different uh, models. So after unzipping the zip file, you will have the model 3. You will have these uh, layers. We have a raster file, it's an orthophoto, and then three vector uh, layers. So first, Firstly, we are going to load the ra uh, raster layer, the orthophoto. We are going to open it, and we have this option. 
we can load the layer uh, tiled or normally if uh, we load the layer tiled it will it will be loaded by uh, tiles so it will be useful very useful for very big uh, images so uh, if we have an auto photo that is uh, 15 uh, gigabytes for example we can use the tile option but if it's a small image we can use normally because it won't be it won't uh, last uh, time to load the layer so normally in our case and then we accept so we here we have the raster layer the auto photo about uh, an area of, of uh, San Francisco now we are going to load a new layer from add layer option or this option is also in view add layer and we are going to add a new file it will be about the neighborhoods of uh, San Francisco we press open and here we have the reference system for raster layers uh, they are loaded in the reference system of the view but uh, in the uh, vector layers they are loaded if they have a PRJ uh, file for example here we have the neighborhoods the shape file as we uh, told about in the first video in the first model we have different files the shape file and then the attribute table associated to the shape file this, this file is obligatory too and the prj file can be uh, can be with the, the the rest of the files this file contains the uh, information about the reference system and from gbc 2.3 the prj files are recognized so here we have that this file is in this reference system and it's the same than the view so it will be loaded in the correct side if the prj file indicates that the the layer is in a different reference system than the view it will be it will say reprojected on the fly so it will it will be reprojected we will see this uh, option in the in the next uh, modules so we are going to accept and here we have the new layer we can put it active in black in bold option and zoom to with the secondary button we can press zoom to layer and here we have the the layer of the neighborhoods of San Francisco the vector layers uh, have a ha, uh, the vector layers have a, uh, an attribute table associated so we can access from this button or from the secondary button and attribute table and here we have the information that is available in this vector layer as we saw in the first module about differences, bet differences between uh, GIS and CAD in the GIS, in the shape file, we have different type of information we can, we have the, we can have the names, the area, parameters, the proprietaries, the dates, etc. different type of information in the, in the CAD files we only have the layer, the color, text, and another two or three uh, fields to, uh, that uh, with a concrete information, but not uh, as many information as here, as in the shape file. So we have the attribute table with different names of the 
uh, neighborhoods. With this information, we can apply a symbology. For example, we have uh, an only color for all the elements, but we can access to the properties of the file, of the vector file. We can access with the secondary button and properties or double clicking on the layer. Here we have uh, the general tab, Here we have the name of the layer, uh, the, the scales where they are shown or not. For example, if we have a parcel layer and we, ha and we are in this zoom, uh, we can uh, we can check we can uh, select that uh, it's not uh, visible. We also have the rest of the information, and at the second tab, the symbols, we can change the symbology. We have different type of symbologies by categories, by features, by quantities, where we have a a numerical uh, field, for example, by intervals from with with the area, we can uh, change the symbology by intervals, <coughs> or by uh, unique symbols is only one color, or for example, unique values, we can select the field that we have that we want to use. For example, we are going to apply a symbology by the name of the of the neighborhoods. We are going to select a color scheme, for example this one, because if we select this one we only have four color, different colors. With this one we have more different colors. We press add all and here we have all the names of the names of the neighborhood neighborhoods. If we press apply we can see all the neighborhoods with the uh, the colors. We also can change one of them or different ones. For example, this one we have we can double click and we can choose only the symbol for this uh, neighborhood. For example, we are going to change to red color and the border. Uh, with the width uh, higher, we press accept, we apply, and here we have the uh, this this element with this uh, symbology. So when we finish, we accept, and we have all the symbology, and here we have all the neighborhoods with the different colors. We also can change the colors from here, for example from Excelsior, Excelsior, double click, double click and then uh, green color, we accept and here we have only for this one. Well, then we are going to see the symbology. We are going to access to the properties of the same layer and we can change the uh, label. Sorry, I, s I, I said symbology, not. It's uh, labeling. We can apply a labeling with, uh, from the different uh, fields. For example, we have to press enable labeling and we have two options. The simple one this is the simple one and the advanced where we can select for example a fixed uh, text and then the name of the neighborhoods for example the word neighborhood and then uh, the name of the different the neighborhoods but we are going to apply a simple one only the the, <coughs> the name the text that is in the field in our case we are going to select the name, we can change the font type, we can change the, the height if we have it in, in a field or a fixed, for example 10 and pixels. If we select 
10 pixels if we we can see that this the size is the same but it's a screen uh, unit only for the the screen of our computer but we can have problems when we create a map and we print or we uh, export it to PDF file because it's they are uh, screen units but uh, in the paper uh, we have uh, metric uh, units so for that case we will have to select uh, a metric unit for example meters and for example 300 meters then we can see that the size is always the same so we won't we won't have problems when we export to PDF our layout then we can change the color of the labels and we also can if we have a, a street layer for example if we have a field with the, uh, the angle uh, we can select the field uh, to rotate the different labels so we apply we accept and here we have our layer vector layer with the symbology and the different labels it's a polygon layer the shape files can be uh, a polygon layer a point or a, a line layer now we are going to to apply to add a new layer from add layer uh, file and add and now we are going to load uh, a line layer in this case the streets of san francisco we press uh, uh, accept and we here we have uh, it has a prj file so uh, it indicates that this is the reference system and it's the same than the view so it won't be reprojected on the fly it will, will be it will be uh, loaded correctly so we accept and here we have the lines it's a vector layer so it has its attribute table with the different elements and finally we are going to uh, do the same but with a, a point layer we are going to add layer add and we have the food stores of San Francisco we press open this is the it's in the same reference system than the view so we accept and here we have the food stores of San Francisco it's a point shape file and finally before before finishing this video we are going to uh, see the locator we can load a layer with the same extension of the of the our view from view locator setup this is one option we have to we can access and we can add layer and we have to select the layer in our disk but if we have the layer that we wa that we want to load if we have this layer in the table of contents in our view we can select uh, the layer here and then secondary button and add to locator so here we have the the layer w if we use the main button of the mouse we can zoom to an area draw in a rectangle and we can move to a different areas so here well and then if we use the secondary button we can move this zoom to another part for example here or here 
it keeps it keeps the the zoom the scale but we can move the zoom to another area and finally if we want to quit the application if we want to to close gbc we will have to uh, save the project the project uh, as we told about as we as we told in the first video in the first model uh, about differences between gis and cad the project file won't contain the uh, the layers it will be only a text file uh, with the different paths to the different uh, layers so it won't be the size uh, will be only several uh, kilobytes and uh, not gigabytes uh, if it has uh, orthophotos for example so uh, if we have the project uh, this folder and the cartography inside this folder if we want to uh, send the project file to another person we will have to uh, send the uh, the next uh, folder so we are going to save the project first from file save project or save as and we are going to access to this folder for example here we have the cartography and I'm going to save it as project one and save so the project it's only the size is only uh, 47 uh, kilobytes but not uh, gigabytes or or megabytes so we had uh, several layers for example this one uh, almost 10 megabytes uh, but the project file doesn't include doesn't contain the the uh, layers so if we want to to send this project to another person we will have to send the father uh, folder this folder so if we send the one course uh, folder including module 3 and project 1 if the other person uh, save this folder in uh, his or her computer if that person open the project one it will see all the layers that the project uh, had and uh, now we can uh, close gbc and continue with the next model uh, soon so we, we uh, see you in the next uh, model